morning, K Nation, and welcome to the morning news for Friday, September 1st, produced by the iNews. I'm Emma Bosarch. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then pause for a moment of silence. Now to Mr. Sprinkle with our Students of the Week. Right. Happy Friday. I'm O'Brien Hurricanes. Welcome to another great day of education at the best high school, Mobile County Public School System. It's that time of the week where we recognize our Students of the Week. Uh, we appreciate your commitment to excellence and all that you do. Starting off with our freshman Student of the Week, Tierney Johnson. Congra congratulations to Tierney Johnson. Uh, Chase Fothasane. That's Chase Fothasane. Uh, Aiden Connor. Aiden Connor, and last but certainly not least, our senior student of the week uh, goes to Landon Touchstone. Congratulations, Landon Touchstone. I know that he scored over a 30 on his ACT recently, so congratulations to him. And our Hurricane Hero of the Week teacher that goes above and beyond for his students every day here on this campus, Mr. Julius Bryant. We appreciate everything you do. You're always on duty. You always have a smile on your face, and you love our students here at Alma Bryant. Uh, thank you for all that you do. All right, real quick reminder about tonight's game, guys. Uh, once you enter that gate, you cannot leave that gate. It's a no uh, re-entry. Everyone will have to go through metal detectors. Uh, so don't bring anything you're not supposed to bring in your pockets. We will have uh, police officers here. So if you get in trouble at tonight's events, not only will you be in trouble at school, but you'll be going in the back of a cop car to either Strickland or the Vail about your police department, depending on your age. So make sure you're behaving. Uh, you have to, if you bring a bag in, it has to be clear. Uh, what are the other rules? We've got uh, Obviously, guys, you know, no vapes, no smoking, uh, no drugs or weapons. That includes little small pocket knives, and you can't bring outside food or drinks in. So don't bring it, okay? We've been doing this for two or three years now. Most of you know the procedures. Uh, we will have a tailgate event for our students uh, near the gym around 6 o'clock to 6.35. We'll have some pizza and other food. Uh, and our student section, the Storm Chasers, is going to be packed out. Everybody dressed in white, and we're going to support our team. Guys, behave yourself in that student section. No powder, uh, no throwing things. Uh, let's make it a fun event, guys. So behave yourself well so we can all enjoy tonight. And good luck to our Hurricanes. All right, guys, have a great Friday here at Alma Bryant, where excellence is the expectation. Thank you, Mr. Sprinkle, and good morning, Hurricanes. Now, we, may we now have your attention for the morning news. Our extended day opportunity starts September 5th directly after school. Tutoring in all subjects will be provided as well as enrichment in archery, art, broadcasting, esports, music, chess, writers guild, and many other great opportunities. Transportation will be provided and everyone must sign a permission form. Make sure you're all taking advantage of this great opportunity. The Friends of Mobile Public Library writing contest is open for submissions. The topic is Alabama's historical impact. The top three winners in each grade will receive a monetary prize. Submissions close October 27th. Please see Ms. Perez in room B9 for information on how to submit. The next ACT is scheduled for September 9th. Ms. Whitehurst is offering a math boot camp Thursday, September 7th in preparation of the ACT. See Ms. Whitehurst in C8 if you are interested. Now to Parker with our sports. Thank you, Emma. Our swim team competed yesterday for the first time at Bishop State Community College, and many of our swimmers had some personal bests in the 50-meter freestyle event. The Hurricanes swim again next Thursday at T.R. Miller. Tickets for today's home game against Holtville will be sold during, during lunch for a low cost of $10. You can only purchase one ticket and only get them at this price during the lunch waves. Make sure to take advantage of this student discount and come out to support the Canes. Our sports reporter Tyra Watson was able to go out and talk to Coach Sessions and Isaiah Dixon about this week's game and what we should expect out of the team this year. What's up, Canes? I'm your new sports reporter, Tyra Watson, and this week we were able to go down and visit our head coach sessions and our starting quarterback, Isaiah Dixon, to talk about this upcoming season and the opening game this Friday against your Hopeville Bulldogs. Okay, Canes, we're here with head coach sessions. So, coach sessions, I know it's been extremely hot these past couple weeks before the practice even started. So, a question I want to ask you is, how have y'all been combating the heat and dealing with this? You, know, you have to take a few more water breaks and uh, really you got to be very complimentary to our guys. They've done a great job handling the heat um, and it has. It's been unseasonably warm obviously but you know it's part of it. It's going to be hot Friday night and you have to prepare yourself and our guys have done a great job of that. Okay. 
Also, senior season is something that people look forward to the entire year. So, what is something that you expect out of your seniors and who's the players to watch? Yeah, we're very excited about this senior class, first of all. I mean, there's, there's 20 plus of them finally. You know, we've been playing with eight and nine seniors, so we finally have a larger senior class. You know, we expect those guys, they've got three years within our system. They know what to expect from us, and they know what our standards are. We expect them to hold everyone accountable. Um, so far in fall camp, they've done a great job of doing that. Um, so we're excited for the season and we really expect big things out of that senior class. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. That's Thank you. Today. Okay, Kings. I'm here with senior quarterback Isaiah Dixon. So, Isaiah, I know your team has been working extremely hard this offseason. So what are some things that we should expect out of you guys? Uh, some big things. Definitely different from last year. You know, the work we put in, sweat, we should expect some big things. So what is a personal goal that you have set for yourself during the season? Um, I ain't really set a personal goal, but I said um, I can be the best I can be for my team, you know. Just do do what my coaches ask me to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Thank you, Isaiah. <laughs> okay, Canes, that's all for your pregame report. Please be sure to come out this Friday and help push our Canes to victory against the Hoville Bulldogs. This week for this game is Whiteout. Remember, if you can make it to the game, you can always catch the game live on the I Network. It all goes down in the eye of the hurricane. And as always, go Canes. Thank you, Tara. Students, MCPSS and Elma Bryant have put a few guidelines and procedures for all athletic events this year. No person will be allowed entry into the stadium without passing through the metal detectors first. No person will be allowed re-entry after leaving the stadium. Only clear bags are allowed into the stadium. Spectators will not be allowed to change sides during the game. No outside food or drinks allowed. No weapons, no tobacco or vapes, no loitering in the parking lot. And we reserve the right to deny entry or to remove someone from the game. Make sure we are following all guidelines throughout the year and enjoy the game. Also, students, we will be tailgating today before the game starting at 5.30 and ending at 6.30. We encourage everyone to come out and participate. Our tailgating area will be held by the 500 building. Now back to Emma with more news. Thank you, Marley. Today's lunch is pulled pork sandwiches, fries, salad, fruit juice, and milk. If you enjoy board games or you like to try new games and would like to be a part of the board game club, scan the QR code on the posters that are hanging around the hub to register. Board Game Club will meet every Thursday, Tuesday and Wednesday after school till 4.30 in the Media Center. The Alabama Coastal Cleanup is scheduled for September 16th from 8 to 12. Students from Alma Bryant have participated in this community event for years. If you are interested in helping, go by and see Miss Odom in A3. PSAT signups are right now for 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. The test will be, the test will be in October this year. See Miss Davis if you are interested. This concludes our morning news for Friday, September 1st. We thank you for tuning into the iNetwork, and we will see you again next week for more news. And remember, it's a great day to be a hurricane.